Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it, Chad Oh, I didn't see you there. I got caught up reading my uh, Libertarian Party news, but we can talk politics another time. Uh, before we start, I wanted to give a special shout out to uh, Norm Beer Expedition for hooking me up with this uh, Watchmen t-shirt, so thanks Norm. Uh, that will be cherished. Anyways, we're uh, trying Samuel Smith's Nut Brown Ale supposed to be one of the best beers in the world. The uh, the brothers on Beer Advocate gave it an A plus and the users gave it like an A minus. And uh, oh note the apostrophe S, it's Smith's um, which is weird because the oatmeal stout just says Samuel Smith oatmeal stout. But the other beers on the line all say Samuel Smith's. And Jay and I got into a, an argument about whether or not you should put apostrophe S in the name or not. I say, unless it actually has it in a name like this, just call it, you know, Rogue Chocolate Stout or, you know, Long Trail Hibernator. You wouldn't say Long Trails or, you know, like, you know, think of it this way. You wouldn't say Bud's Light or Miller's Light, right? So, anyways, on to the beer. You know, this was rattling in the car. I hope this won't explode on me when I open it. And I read that you're supposed to drink this at about 50 to 55 degrees, so I've been letting it sit out for a while. I'm not going to take the temperature, but um, I'm just kind of hoping that it's warm, warm enough. I hate pouring out of these growlers or bombers or whatever you call them, because they so, you like that glug, 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 glug. And it's a little more head than I prefer. I know Jay likes a big fat head on his beer, but I prefer more liquid to the foam. Well, I like that body. It's like a very dark maroon. Almost kind of like, like a lot of Irish reds are this dark. This is like a reddish, super dark amber. Uh, as you can see, Two finger head on there. It's a uh, off white, beige, maybe foamy, real foamy. It's got a real kind of nutty smell to it, which isn't surprising considering that it's a nut brown ale. Actually, I don't really smell all that much. I mean, it's fairly sweet. Um, so uh, let's see how it tastes. Mm. Yes. As soon as I was drinking it, it just reminded me of uh, Newcastle Brown Ale. This might actually be a little bit sweeter than that. It's not. It's, I'm getting a lot of caramel here. It's not. It's, it's not exactly super roasty. It seems to have a, kind of like a creaminess to it, which is surprising because I always think of brown ales as fairly, you know, kind of watery kind of beers. But uh, there seems to be a. Uh, the, the, I, it's probably the combination of the head and, and the, the composition of the beer. It seems like a sweet kind of, kind of creaminess going on here. It's very mild, which is kind of like the point of brown ales. They're like a working man's beer, a session beer. You know, and, and I could drink Newcastle all day, every day. Um, but this is, this is a good alternative. Yeah, I'm liking this a lot so far. I'm starting to get more nuttiness now. It's kind of like a like a wall more of like a walnut flavor. But overall it's uh it's really sweet. It kinda of reminds me of like uh way almost. Um yeah, it's just it's like the the flavor is mild, but it's sweet, so it's it's very drinker friendly. 
I think anybody could drink this. Like, it's it's really really smooth too. Like, it's got kind of like that creamy. Um, it's creamy, but it's sort of watery at the same time. The, the actual body, but overall, it's like it's really tasty. Really really smooth. Really easy to drink. Like I said, mild. You know, in fact, it might even be a little too mild because you know. I prefer my beers just like bursting with flavor, but I think I think the average drinker out there would really really like this beer. It's a pretty light, light body beer too. It's only five percent ABV, so uh, uh, this would be a great session beer. Uh, so overall, I, I really like it. I can't even I can't even find anything to complain about it. Only that maybe it's a little too mild, you know? But uh, otherwise, uh, it's a winner. Man, that's really good. Um, I'm going to have to give an A to Samuel Smith's Nut Brown Ale. I can see why it's so, it's so uh, world-renowned or whatever. You know, really, really tasty and sweet, but not overpowering and, and, and the mildness makes it very drinker friendly combined with the smooth creamy finish and the light body you know 5% ABV it's very very drinker friendly you know maybe it's a little too mild but otherwise it's forgivable um, so like I said I'm gonna give an A to uh, Sam Smith's so uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better. <laughs> <laughs>